Hello, Sagittarius. Welcome to Gemini Soul Tarot. This is a general message for finance and love. So, Sagittarius, uh, I want you to know I'm doing something different. This side will be your financial side. This side will be your love side. I know sometimes you guys come and you don't want to hear about love. Sometimes you want to know about your financials. This is for uh, the month of June. This is what you could be dealing with. You could be dealing with it right now at this time that you are watching the tutorial or you could be dealing with it in the month of June. If it does not resonate with you, throw it out into the universe. And don't worry about it. Check your sun, your moon, and your rising. So, uh, judge, judge, judication. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm looking at the judge. But judication, guys, it came out in reverse. So, um, right away, Sagittarius, there's something in court or something like that perhaps has now finally... You've gotten the, okay, then you have the community cards. Okay, so Sagittarius, uh, this is your financial side. So you could have been dealing with something at work in which you've been waiting for the outcome. Someone, yeah, then we got mature woman. You're talking right away. I can't even tell you what I'm seeing right quick. Okay, so, and under the bottom, you have unexpected income. So, no matter what the situation is, great for you, Sagittarius. This will be great. So, what I'm seeing, Sagittarius, right now is either at work, there was a situation, maybe you was judged wrong, or someone came after your stability, whether they lied on you, tried to fire you for no reason, or you were fired, or... Whatever the situation was, there was some situation at work that involved you or involved your financial status, your funds, your abundance, your stability, uh, and you were waiting for an outcome. I do have a mature woman. Definitely could have been a marriage because, you know, we have the uh, judification card, which is two people in court, which is a man and a woman standing there, uh, like, you know, waiting for this then to... Both parties side of the story and waiting for them to for him to make a decision. Uh, ultimately, you were waiting for this decision. I think that you thought you would not win the case or it would not come out in your favor. I'm here to tell you that it did come out in your favor or it is going to come out in your favor in June. Now, we got a mature woman here. You could definitely be dealing with a boss, right? And this uh, mature woman, or you're the mature woman. I'm also feeling like you could have been of age or older, and maybe you even feel that uh, at your job someone was um, discriminating against you because of your age or how long you have been on the job. So, you know, to help the business, they probably thought it was better that you retire or step down. I'm feeling like something like that. Um, whether you're masculine or feminine, it can go either way. I'm seeing that. I'm also seeing, you know, uh, definitely could have been a marriage, uh, divorce, and you were waiting for the outcome, hoping you wouldn't lose the house, the cars, and your stability. If that is the case, don't worry about it because the universe has you and unexpected income will be coming in. Even if that case does not go in your favor, the spirit has already started a new journey, new beginning for you to move forward on a new path with unexpected income that you will not believe. That is what I am hearing. But let's go ahead and clarify some of this for you. Okay, Saggy. So the judification card in reverse for Sagittarius. Yes, four of pentacles. So um, what I'm seeing right now is whatever the situation was, Sagittarius, you have been holding on to what you have or what you got because you were not sure of how this situation was going to turn out. And you've been very uncomfortable doing that. Um, you've been like a miser, not buying anything for yourself, saving, doing what you have to do. When it comes to the community card, it is clarified by the soul, by the King of Swords. 
and that is you was looking at the situation as logic as you could. You wasn't looking from the heart. You was thinking about your stability, how you're going to move forward, how will you get through this, and just pretty much waiting for uh, this outcome or for this situation to close that has really kept you up in your head. But you have now you have the Queen of Swords. So you have actually the King and Queen. So now you see the truth in the situation. Maybe some information came out you was not aware of. Or the, I mean, and I could just see the uh, Queen of Swords is you went from logic to getting the truth in this situation. To seeing the truth in this situation. And now seeing how it turned out. And it did turn out in your favor. But you may have found out some things that you were not aware of. That could have brought you into this unexpected income. So. And if that is the case. You got the three of, three of cups. I'm totally feeling like this was a marriage. You got three of cups in reverse. This is no more happiness in this situation. With this marriage. This job. This community. Uh, maybe you was in business with someone and you found the truth. Maybe they were skimming off the bottom. Uh, maybe you was good friends with someone. They sold you out. This is just what I'm hearing. Wherever it resonates, Saggy, that's where it resonates. Uh, someone you really trusted and believed in did some things behind your back and now you have the truth in it. Definitely could have been a soulmate, a husband, a friend for a long time or a long time relationship that you were really truly holding on because you didn't really want to look at it logically that this person will be doing this to you but you come to find out you know the divine opens it and showed it to you it could have definitely been someone was in another company or took another offer from someone else that affected you and you were in court about this guys comment below let me know where you at saggy but the point is that three of cups in reverse it's over so whatever that third party or third energy that was coming after you sagittarius that wanted to bring you down and see you fail uh it's not hold on y'all got a card down sag okay this that wanted to see you fail it didn't work the plan didn't work sad because you had the divine on your side and now this page of cups so sad if you lost anything in this situation and you didn't feel it was fair or you wind up with now feeling like you had to hold on to what you had to hold on with well, there's a page of cup coming your way now this definitely could be a situation where whatever this is or whoever this person is has now changed their mind and want to come towards you and offer you, you know, uh, apology. So they want to apologize for what they did towards you or how they changed things up, which they knew was not right. But they know that you know the truth now and you're only going to accept the truth. So that's going to totally be up to you. But your main uh, overall card, Sagitt oh, wow. Okay, that's it. <clears throat> Yes, let's talk about it, Saggy. Look, June is it for you, honey. Whether it's right now <laughs> or it's in June. Wherever the situation is, Sag, look at that. That's six of ones. Honey, they gonna see you. What they tried to do, they couldn't do, baby. It didn't happen. They couldn't pull it off because the universe stepped in, knew what you deserve, knew where your heart, your mind, and your soul, what you put into this, and what you deserve. So people who mean you no good, Saggy, maybe it's some friends, it's a community, it's a job, whatever it is, a relationship that you have put so much in and you couldn't even believe it. I don't think you was accepting the fact that someone could even do this or really upset at the fact that you even have to go through this process anyway, right? You feel like I've been doing everything I have to do. You know, I mind my own business. I help people when I need to. I'm here for them. You know, I go to work every day. I put my all in there. I am just as capable of doing this job as anyone else. Whatever the situation may have been, Saggy, you come out on top. Because your overall is unexpected income, and that's all that matters. Now, you got love over here. We finna get to your love, because I'm really feeling this could have been some type of love affair or something was going on could have been third parties whatever could have been a divorce marriage, whatever uh, you take it where it resonates i'm gonna need to know but let me tell you you got the ten of pentacles that means at the end of the day you got it all and when i tell you you got it all i'm telling you with the ten of pentacles and unexpected income your stability is going to be off the roof uh, does that even make sense? Anyway, that doesn't, you know what I'm saying, Saggy. Shoot. 
Uh, it is going to be unbelievable. Your outcome is unbelievable. Have faith, believe in it, because that situation is done. And that's it. Have that leap of faith. And I see a two of cups. We got to get on over to your love because it's getting out of control over here. And I truly believe whatever this situation is, that now love is coming in also. So that's your honeymoon. Yes. Enjoy the bliss of holiday together. So not only do you get the outcome you want. So there could have been a strong positive. I don't know that you. Okay. There is somebody coming in. With this two of cups under the bottom. The ten of pentacles is family, happy, bliss. Someone to share your life with. Stability, harmony, joy. And then you got honeymoon. So whatever this unexpected income. And if you got you a sweetie. Y'all about to hit it. Y'all about to go out and spend some of this money. Children, your your love life is being affected by children. Now, you got children over here in the community. Um, you know, pages are considered kids, like childlike energy, right? So, I don't know if it's a situation where he was going to court and maybe, uh, you know, there was uh, alimony or something like that. If that's the part that resonates with you, then you got your outcome, attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this uh, moment fully. And whatever it is, you need to open your heart up and be ready, Saggy. Because not only do you got them chemicals, not only do you got the bag. It's a healing family issues. Your love life benefits from giving, uh, for forgiving your parents. So I, I, as far as that is concerned, everybody have child uh, uh, things in their family they need to heal. You do have a community card here with a family there, so that could definitely be a family. You got the Ten of Pentacles. Maybe it's something that's healing and coming together. As far as a family, you blending a family together after leaving a family because we own the love part now. So you could have met someone who has, you know, children or something like that, and maybe you guys are blending families, or you are planning to now have a family with someone because you do have the Two of Cups right there. Okay? Um... Let's see. What well, we gonna go with this for Saggy to close this out? What what else? Why is honeymoon card here for Saggy and love? Why is the honeymoon card here for Sagittarius and love? Woo. Okay, okay, Sagittarius. No, they coming out quickly for you, Saggy. So you got the seven of cups clarifying the honeymoon. So that means whoever this person, y'all got options. Where y'all going? Y'all can go to wherever. Wherever the world is open, you got enough money to take them. If you talking about marrying somebody and making them an offer, a commitment, and being the fool to take that leap of faith because you were good and grounded and you have the outcome that you needed. You was able to lead this marriage, this job, or get what it is that you deserve that keeps you stable and balanced. You could have also been worrying about having a commitment with someone because you didn't feel stable enough because you do have a night of uh, swords here and the queen of swords and that is a powerful couple you know what i'm saying so if that's the case you can now go to your your queen or your king in peace and be like look yes we can get married now i am stable and ready to move on i know what i want and what i want is you and you guys gonna have a lot of options to do whatever it is you want to do also this is saying sagittarius do not be illusionary about this. Don't be thinking, oh, this this can't be true. I got I won the case and now I got love coming in. And I, no, the universe got it for you. You need to accept it. You have the four of swords. The four of swords to me is a person that went in and did the healing. And this is under children. So your life was affected by, uh, by uh, children. There could have definitely been a, a divorce involved where you had to, to, to do what was best for you and the children. Or you had to... Uh, come to an understanding of maybe taking care of the children or even realizing what it is that you needed to do to heal your inner child, that inner child that makes you want what it is that you want, right? It's from your childhood, from your upbringing, right? And maybe you had to heal some things of how you thought relationships should look, how you thought relationships should 
You know, maybe it's the outside. Everything look really good when people looking from the outside, but when they come inside the home, you're not happy at all. Maybe you had a certain look you wanted to carry and portray, and you realize that ain't doing you no good, that you decided you actually want to heal that part of you that you grew up believing uh, all the time that no longer is part of you, or you want to heal that part from your ancestors of this part that does not go with you. Okay, um, because you got a different outlook and you're taking your own outlook. You went within to do the healing. You could have had a heartbreak too that really put your, you know, the, when you put your, if you had a heartbreak, you could have been dealing with it the way that, you know, people was telling you to deal with it. You know, leave this person, don't do this, don't do that. Um, you know, or they just did not understand what you were going through. And maybe you just kept it all to yourself and went to the divine and talked to him about the healing. And you did the work. That's what matters. And what doing it is a tower moment. This is a tower moment. And I'm feeling right now that this person, you may be proposing to someone, getting married, or just able to talk to someone and really truly tell them how you feel and how things are different now and that you really want them. Uh, the seven of cups is by is clarified by the five of pentacles in reverse. The, that is beautiful because guess what? This person or you are no longer feeling left out in the cold. You now understand the options, the choices that you have in love or how you want to feel or how you want to be treated or how you want to treat someone else. And that is definitely what I'm seeing, Sagittarius. You, someone you was caring about, like you ready to propose to them, you no longer want to feel left. Oh, my goodness. It just, what the, what the, okay, Saggy. How much y'all got in here? Okay, let's go. I'm doing it. I'm doing this. Okay, Sagittarius, listen to me. And I know you probably say, Jesus Christ, you're going so fast. I understand. But if this is your situation, you are resonating with this, then you already know. You just like, you putting your clothes on right now, going to the store to get that ring. That's what you're doing. <laughs> or you sitting up here saying, I just finished this. And yes, I'm thinking about proposing. And yes, I changed some things in my life. And yes, I understand this. And yes, or it's a person feeling that way towards you, Sagittarius. And you need to get ready for it. Because this is from the divine. This is your soul. Make. This is the person you need to be with to share these pinnacles with, all right? This is a, 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 a I got to get it together now. This is power together, two people, okay? That's what I'm seeing. Now, there is a strong possibility, Sagittarius, that you walked away from this situation with some buckets, you know, a few dollars in your pocket, and feeling good and love within yourself and heal some things on yourself and you just out there doing you now. That's a strong possibility. This whole reading could be all about Sagittarius taking control of their life after going through some trauma like this and coming out on top, getting some unexpected income, moving on over, healing they in, healing their self, their child, uh, some of their childhood wounds, some things that they brought, they was brought up uh, with, uh, ideas or thoughts or feelings as children. Uh, they heal the family, you know, karma or something like that, right? But anyway, and you can just no longer feel left out in the cold and understand that you have options rather than love, money, career, or whatever it is, you understanding that you have options and all it takes is you. That's it. It just needs you to show up. All you have to do right now, Saggy, is show up and continue to walk this path. Let me get into the reading. I talk too much. Okay, Sagittarius, your next card is four ones. Like, what? This is family marriage proposal. You are proposing to someone, Sagittarius, and you're not going to tell me you're not. And even if it's not proposal, you see somebody so beautiful and stable that you want to share your life with them. You want them to know this. You want to be happy. You see someone who makes you happy or who could make you happy if you become in union with them. Even if it's not the fact that you get married right this moment. But it's a honeymoon, so whoever it is, y'all going to spend some time away first and foremost. Or you going to offer some time away, a vacation to someone and spend some time with you and get away with them, with that person, so you can get to know that person and figure out what y'all next move is. And that's because of the ten of wands. Whatever's been burdening you, 
if you've been going to court, if you've been dealing with a, uh, a divorce, if you've been dealing with hurt, pain, uh, getting yourself back stable, healing, whatever it is, you are now getting through all of that. This is the 10 of 1. If you have been carrying other people's burdens and problems, you are no longer doing that. You are now looking out for Sagittarius. And it could have definitely been you so busy with everybody else's mess that you didn't even focus on your own happiness. And this is you now focusing on your happiness and moving forward with whoever this person is. On this side, there is some type of union coming together. Over here, I feel the same way. So I believe that this is entwined because of your stability and focusing on yourself and healing. You are now able to make that offer to someone else, Saggy. That's just what I'm saying. Yes. And look. This is the four of cups under the bottom. The four of cups is depicted as like, you know, you see the three cups that's already spilled. And then you have this, this fourth cup right behind you. Well, Sagittarius, I feel like you realize that that cup is back there. And if you do not realize that the universe has that back there for you, you need to turn around and pay attention because there is some special relationship that the universe is bringing in towards you. This extra, this cup of love, those three cups, you can stop looking down at that. You need to be looking upward, not downward, because this is going to cost you if you keep looking down. So, know that you're going to have a good outcome between now and June. I want to hear for you, Sagittarius, down below. If any of this resonates, definitely give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe. I really appreciate that. And under that, you have justice. This is meant to be. This is meant to be, but you have to. <laughs> Night of Wands, take the action and move in. Night of Wands, that's you, Sag. Moving in quickly. Don't let this stability and balance and equal uh, give and take in a relationship pass you by. I'm just saying, because it's coming in, Sag, that's you. That's you. Um, there you go. Go, go running. They gallop in and don't miss that opportunity. I just have to keep it. I don't know what spirit got me. Keep going. The wheel is after that. This wheel starts to turn in your favor because you did the work. You now understand. You was patient. Here you go again. Temperance. This is you. Sag. Temperance. Patience. The archangel. They sent this in your direction. This healing that you did was meant for you. The tower was meant, right? That tower was meant to release everything from around you that no longer served you. When you got through healing, you went in and asked for this help. And if you didn't go in and ask it, he brought the tower in to show you, uh, Sad, you need to be going in a different way. This is not for you. This is not what I want you to do because I have something better for you. And we're no longer going to be filling out in the cold because you have options and there's a journey that you need to be on and we're going to put you on that, okay? So we're going to remove everything from around you that no longer serve you so you can think clearly. Now, I'm just saying, Sagi, I ain't trying to be rough on you. It could be you, but definitely it could be a cross watcher. I don't know. Y'all know your story, okay? So let's do this really quickly. If you are dealing with, and I'm only doing the love side for that, fire, Air, earth, and water. Let's see. Sagittarius. If you are dealing with an air sign. Okay. It's an air sign. If it's an air sign, you got the devil card. Now, let me tell you what I think with this air sign. It's this, I don't see it as a devil. It could be a Capricorn, but I see it as some type of fiery up energy. Like, you're so fired up. It's like... um addiction addicted to wanting to start or have this air sign in your life or you feel that it is so toxic the way you feel and want to move towards that way but you had to go through a process of healing in order for that to happen now there's a strong possibility because i don't see you leaving anyone what i see is you committing so uh and you've already healed now this could this air and and um the 
the devil does not to me show as uh someone toxic you leaving behind i think it's just some passionate exercise of somebody very passionate about you or you very passionate about them now i have to tell you what all the you know and you you get it in the story where you belong there you could possibly be leaving an air sign that is very toxic and you do not belong with them i don't know you know your story right could definitely be that if it is a earth sign Sagittarius that you are dealing with. Did it fall out? If it is an earth sign, uh, seven of wands. So the seven of wands is being guarded. So what I'm feeling right now is this seven of wands is you saying, look, I am going to guard my love, my heart, my understanding, my, my, uh, my growth within myself i am going to guard that with everything i have so that you can have the strength to move forward right it's like you're not guarded to not let someone in but you're guarded against your old ways of paying attention to those ways that may have in the past caused you to not move forward and have the things in life that truly meant something to you so you're guarded about the old past you, that old you, and you're aware of it because you heal from it and you're going to pay close attention. And then you could be also guarded against any toxic behavior coming in towards you in regards to this journey and what it is you know you want to do if it is a earth sign. And it could just be you guarding yourself like you may even know after this unexpected income come in this new love come in you are standing there in your power like i will guard against anyone coming in here and breaking this uh relationship up or using me again for funds or or my own mind and soul and not get anything back from it that's just what i feel if it is a fire sign and it is you two of cups you got the two of cups again this is the relationship all day un <laughs> that you either understanding about now and moving towards it, Sagittarius, or this is you as Sagittarius. You are fire. You are standing in your power, your light, your dark, understanding who you is, what it is you want, and you are working on your new path, your new beginning, because you got one with all this income over here, and you got somebody looking at you, you're in love with somebody, or well, all this is over so you can be with someone. I don't know. You know your story, and I guess you'll tell me below. Your next card here is Tempest again. Tempest is underwater. The, if you're dealing with a water sign, um, Cancer, Scorpio, or either a Pisces, you got Tempest, and this is you, right? This is patience. This is timing. I just told you the universe divine, divinely sending you guys towards each other, or you towards that person, or that person towards you. You could definitely have a water sign coming in. If it is not happening right now, it is happening in divine time. In temperance, patience, this is you. You've done the work, and now you want someone that you can truly share your life with, or you've just been so very patient that now the divine has taken over to grant you your manifestation. And even if you ain't manifest, let me tell you, when you do good and you start to realize the toxic behaviors that you have and you want to change, you don't even know that you actually manifesting. Because some people say, well, I don't manifest, I don't pray, or this and that. Let me tell you, when your heart and your mind change, because the divine is about love divine is about doing the right thing giving to those less than us right uh seeing the truth in situations and basically um being there for the community right and loving yourself so that's what the divine is about in the moment you realize that there's things that needs to change in your life that's toxic or things you wasn't doing right and you start to see the cycle change and moving forward it doesn't matter if you sit there and manifest what it is is what you're doing within your temple that the divine is picking up on so once you start putting that out there it starts coming in and that's how people start to change their lives okay sagittarius i thank you so much for coming to the reading please subscribe hit the notification button so you don't miss any of my sagittarius uh tutorials and guys please hit the thumbs up it does help the channel to grow whether you want to claim this reading you can hit the thumbs up and comment below and i will talk to you sagittarius on your next reading love and light sagittarius